Now in this question we're given this cylindrical metal rod which is being heated and at time t we're told that the radius is x and the length is 5x and because it's being heated it's expanding and we're told that the rate of change of the cross-sectional area is growing at a constant rate of 0.032 centimeter squared per second and in this question we're asked to find the rate of change of the radius at time t when x is 2. Okay so how do we do this? Well first of all looking at this phrase here the rate of change of the cross-sectional area when we're talking about rates of change we often use calculus this can be written as, and I'll just rub it out, okay, as the rate of change of area with respect to time is dA by dt, where A is going to be the cross-sectional area. You can see this in the units. Centimeter squares is area, and this is per second. So that's the units of time. Now if we've got to find dx by dt, this is a typical question where we connect rates of change. So if we're doing dx by dt, what I do is I always use the chain rule by writing dx there and then I multiply it by, I connect it with another rate of change and I put this dt down here. So what I'm looking for is a value that I can put in here and the same value there so that effectively it looks as if these cancel out. So what would that rate of change be? Well the variable I'm going to use has to be A for the cross-sectional area. So I'm going to write in there dA and dA. Now we already know dA by dt it's 0.032. But what about dx by dA? How does x change with the area? Well, what we know is that the area of the cross section being a circle is given by the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. In this case, the radius is x, so that's pi x squared. Now, I've got to find dx by dA. I could make x the subject of this and then differentiate x with respect to a, but it's easier to just find out dA by dx and then do the reciprocal. I'll show you. So dA dx, if you differentiate this, is 2 pi x. Okay, that's pi times 2x, so 2 pi x. So therefore, dx by dA will be the reciprocal of that. In other words, 1 divided by 2 pi x. So, I've got the component parts now for dx by dt. So, dx by dA is going to be 1 over 2 pi x. So, we have 1 over 2 pi x. And that's being multiplied by dA by dt, which is 0 0.032. 0 0.032. 3, Put that together and you have got 0 0.032 over 2 pi x. So this gives me the rate of change of the radius or x with respect to time and it gives me the general formula. Now we're looking for a particular instant here and this is when x is 2. So all I need to do is substitute 2 in dx by dt. And so what I have is 0 0.032 all over 2 times pi times the x value of 2. And if you work that out, you find you get 0 0.0025464. And so on. And we're asked to give this to three significant figures. So giving that to three significant figures is going to be 0 0.00255. 0 
Don't forget the units. It's the rate of change of length with respect to time. So that would be the units of length would be centimetres per second. And don't forget to just write in the approximate value that you did it to, which was three significant figures. And that brings us to the end of this part of the question.